Hi. In June of 1975, it was late one summer evening, and I had decided to mail a letter. Back in those days, we actually had to write letters on paper, put it in an envelope, and go take it and mail it. Well, that's what I had done. I had gone downtown Bartlett, up the hill here, dropped my letter, and I was on my way back home. As I approached this bridge, I was walking down. This road didn't exist. None of these houses were here. This was just a little two-lane road, and there was no sidewalk. I was walking out here and approached this bridge, and as I did, I got right here to the bridge. I could hear a girl laughing, crying, laughing, crying, kind of mixed. And in 1975, there was a lot of drugs going on down here in Bartlett, Tennessee. So I thought somebody was down here having a bad trip under the bridge. And as I stood here and listened, all of a sudden, out from underneath the bridge this black guy comes running out and he runs up the bank and then right behind him is another and then another and ultimately it ended up there were seven of them they climbed the bank there took out across this field they were they had their arms outstretched like this both sides and they were doing like a high knee lift job and they went up the bank zigzagged out across that field and disappeared in the tree line i thought it was kind of odd but i didn't think it was anything paranormal i thought it was a bad drug scene down here so i went home continued on down the road here where you see that car crossing down there way down that's my house was right on the other side of this house at the end of the road so i'm only five minutes walk from where i live went home told my dad the story about the guys coming up the bank and running out across the field and he could tell that i had seen something so he said let's go look we took flashlights walked back down here didn't see a thing didn't hear anything said oh well it was strange called a night we went home Next morning, he comes in early, wakes me up, and he said, let's go down there and look around. I said, okay, so we walk down here. We're looking around, didn't see anything, didn't hear anything, and we uh, stood here a minute, and I said, well, you know, I wanna walk down and look under the bridge, because I wanted to see if maybe there was some sign of, you know, people partying down there. So I walked down this bank, right down there, and across the creek, Right underneath the bridge where I'm standing, less than a foot back, was a wooden cattle gate. There wasn't room for seven people in there. There wasn't room for seven people to hide or to just hang out. It was a 12 inch little space between the gate and the edge of the bridge. Well, that kind of bothered me. Now in 1975, none of these trees exist. That house didn't exist. This was just open field. So when I walked up the bank, I climbed up the creek and walked that bank right there. I left footprints in that mud. Mine were the only footprints. If seven guys came out from under this bridge and ran up that hill, that bank, why didn't they leave footprints? Because I left footprints. I never could explain that. I never could explain why I heard a girl, never saw a girl. I never could explain why people could run up that dirt bank and not leave any footprints. I've never been able to explain this. And every once in a while, I like to come back to this spot and just look around and remember. It's just a simple little bridge that goes over a creek near my house. In the middle of one summer night, I experienced something that has stayed with me ever since. And it all happened right here in Bartlett, Tennessee, over that creek. Mansfield Reformatory, Shawshank. I came up here and did two ghost hunts and had experiences both times. This place was built in 1896. They started on 1894. 276 prisoners died here. Some were murdered in their cells, some committed suicide. Uh, some were electrocuted uh, and some were just beaten to death by the guards um, But there is an old uh, Cemetery out here in this field back here, so That's where they ended up
the cell block is five stories high, the east cell block is six stories high. You'll notice the brick construction on the front of these cells where over on the east cell block, they're all steel construction. Door out. Well, that would have been tempting to be this close to an out. <laughs> Right from the cell block through this door and out you go. I wonder if they would know that. I don't know. Okay, we are down in the solitary confinement area. You can see these tiny little cells. And this is an area where we had another experience on our ghost hunt. We we're right here at the second cell door from the end. And one of the ladies, there's the first one, and here's the second one. One of the ladies in our group said she was feeling like static electricity and she had goosebumps. Nobody else felt it. I was standing right next to her. I didn't feel it and I put my arm like right against her arm like this. She had goosebumps. I felt nothing. And again, I didn't have any ghost hunting equipment. I had a uh, compass and a little mini tape recorder. So I took my compass out and I was standing right here in front of this cell and the needle on the compass was literally dancing. It was going back and forth. It was bizarre because it wasn't like it was just pointing in the wrong direction. It was actually moving, it was dancing. And so we stood here trying to figure out what was going on. And then I said, well, maybe it's the iron and the bars. And so I stepped over here in front of this first cell, the needle went to the north and it stayed there. It was solid. So I came over here to the third cell and again, it was solid. But when I stepped back here in front of this second cell, it moved and then just as suddenly as it happened it was over the the needle went back to north uh, she had no more goosebumps and felt nothing else on her arm and it was over not really sure how to explain that or define it but that's what happened and it didn't it wasn't a story that somebody told me i was here and it it happened while i was standing here that's the way it happened back in 1998. i am inside i'm going to show you the entrance when i get out of here but this is just a little cylindrical, basically a tube, and it goes all the way up to the very top floor. And this is the tiny little opening. I'm gonna let her back off a little bit and get a shot as I'm coming out and show you how small this is. This is the only way I can get out. And there are a number of these lined up down this corridor so i'm not really sure what it was for but if that was an isolation cell that, that would be terrible because when that lights out it's dark in there you can't see anything in there <laughs> 